guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an 80s inspired collaboration with my friend Christian. As you can see, I did something very 80s glam, kind of Robert Palmer music video, and he went for something a little bit different, which was very neon and kind of crazy and out there. Um, if you want to check out his video, click the link right here, and don't forget to subscribe to him for more awesome videos. Let's get started. As you can see, I'm applying my favorite foundation, which is the Amore Pacific Cushion Compact. As you can see, it's coming up a little bit yellow on camera, but I assure you that's just lighting and it doesn't really look like that in person. Using my Old Faithful Bobbi Brown Corrector to cover up those uh, dark circles I have constantly. And my life wouldn't be complete without my Lancome Epicerns Concealer to put on top of that. For blemishes and redness around my nose and mouth, I'm using my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. fill in my brows I'm using my Anastasia Brow Duo and I'm using an angled brush to give that really strong brow which was really classic in the 80s. Setting my makeup with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, I really want this look to be super, super matte, so I don't want any dewiness to be shining through. Even though I love dewy skin, I'm just not going for that with this look. Now I'm priming my lids with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. The first eyeshadow color I'm using is Bobbi Brown Slate, and I'm just packing that all over the eyelids, stopping right before the crease. Now I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to blend, 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 blend until it's completely blown out and not have any harsh lines or unevenness whatsoever. The next color I'm using is Cranberry by MAC and I'm just going to place that in the crease and a little bit onto the slate and I'm not going to concentrate too much on blending right now because I'm going to just place the color where I want it and come back later and really blend it out. Now that I have that color exactly where I want it, I'm going back in with a clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend those colors together until they just blend together nicely and have no harsh lines. This color I'm using is Bobbi Brown Steel and I'm going to take that on a flat brush and I'm just going to press it into the outer corner of my eye. Now of course we're going to go back in and blend that out because we don't want any harsh lines. This color is also by Bobbi Brown. It's called Antique Rose and it's a nice rosy blush pink color and I'm taking that on a fluffy blending brush and I'm taking it all the way up to the brow bone. This is a very classic 80s look to have the color all the way up to the brow bone. I'm 
I'm taking that first gray color we used, Slate by Bobbi Brown, and I'm going to take that all the way under the eye. Now I'm taking a little bit of that cranberry eyeshadow and I'm just going to blend that out a little bit to give it a smokier effect. Using my favorite black eyeliner at the moment, I'm going to line my waterline and I'm also going to tight line with that as well. The mascara I'm using is Grandiose by Lancome. It's brand new mascara and has a really cool swan neck and it gives you amazing glossy black lashes. Now with my taupe blush by MAC, I'm going to contour my cheeks and I'm really going to be heavy handed with this contour because that is what the 80s were all about. Using NARS's Orgasm, I'm going to apply that blush right where I applied that contour, sort of in the hollows of the cheeks, and I'm taking it right up to the temple. I'm not going to be concentrating on the apples of my cheeks like I typically would. Now I'm going to line my lips using my Laura Mercier Lip Pencil in Warm Poppy. My favorite classic red lipstick at the moment is Red Oat by Lancome. The gloss I'm using is by Giorgio Armani in the shade 400 and I just really want those super glossy red lips. And that's my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.